You've seen PennDOT replacing traditional intersections all over the area. These projects aren't slowing down. Elena LaQuatra joining us in the control room. She has more on a new study relating to these roundabouts. Elena. Sean, we saw the first one pop in our re pop up in our region about four years ago. That's the one in Waterford. And now there are quite a number of other roundabout projects planned for the coming years. Months of construction, major disruptions in traffic patterns, and a headache for surrounding businesses. We lost probably $100,000 that summer. You may ask, why go through the hassle of replacing traditional intersections with roundabouts? Recent data released by PennDOT shows that crashes, injuries, and fatalities decreased at 11 studied roundabouts. The roundabouts reviewed had at least three years of data available before and after the construction. Fatalities were reduced by 100% from 2 to 0. Serious injuries were also reduced by 100%. And minor injuries were reduced by 95% from 19 to one. It's not just an improvement in safety, it's also an improvement in the flow of traffic. You can see how many cars are able to make their way through the roundabout in just a matter of seconds. One interesting statistic released by PennDOT, crashes causing only property damage, or in other words, fender benders, only decreased by 2% from 49 to 48. Most often in a roundabout when there is a crash, because everyone's traveling the same direction and at a slower speed, they're just having those really minor fender bender style crashes. The owner of Wagon Wheel Bar and Grill, located just adjacent to the Waterford roundabout, says he's now a fan of them, but he does see frequent fender benders. The wreckers always here pull, pulling somebody out. They hit these curbs here. You know, they're going too fast. PennDOT advises motorists to slow down and make sure you're using turn signals when both entering and exiting a roundabout. I mentioned new roundabout projects. One is the Big Eye that's located just outside of Meadville, and one's also planned for Hammett and Oliver Roads in Summit Township. Sean. All right, Elena LaQuatra. Thank you, Elena. Speaking of roundabouts, Mill Creek Township is now taking responsibility for this one at Route 5 and Mill Fair Road. Single lane roundabout connects Mill Creek and Fairview Townships. It's technically state property, but maintaining landscaping and general upkeep of the median is now on Mill Creek Township. Property, the, and uh, they've asked us to uh, adopt it as far as maintenance of it. Gross says the township will fund any general labor costs associated with the maintenance.